dear learner myself tapashika shiv das assistant professor in computer science krishna kanta handic state open university today i am going to discuss the concept of strings which is from the course computer programming using c language in my previous discussion i have discussed how arrays can be used in programming i have explained one dimensional array as well as two dimensional in arrays in my previous class today in this session i will talk about strings in c programming language i will discuss how strings can be declared how initialization of strings can be done entering values in a string and accessing values in string now what is a string as we have already learned that an array is a collection of homogeneous elements that are finite and ordered homogeneous means same type of data arrays can be integer array float array character array etc now an array of character is called a string that is strings are also arrays but of character data type every string contains one or more characters that comprises of the string followed by a null character that indicates the end of the string arrays can be multidimensional but strings are always one dimensional array of characters and which are always terminated by a null character null character is represented by slash 0 now how can we declare a string a string can be declared in the same way as a as array of any data types we can declare a string by specifying the data type as character followed by the name of the string and the size of the string this can be written as here the size of the string should be the sum of the size of the number of characters that the string can contain plus the size of the uh, size for the null character that uh, designates the end of the string here i have shown some examples of string declaration so to hold the null character at the end of the string the size of the string should be one more than the number of characters intended to enter in the string this is a string declaration statement in a string declaration st statement the data type will be a character then it is followed by the name of the string then the size of the string and one semicolon is required and this a uh, third bracket is required to specify the size this is a one single string string declaration statement let us write some uh, examples of string declaration statement character name size is suppose 15 this is one string declaration statement again another a u t h r a string name is author suppose the author name can be landy so i have taken 20 this is one string declaration statement another string declaration statement suppose book then suppose 30 this three are some three, uh, string declaration statement it will uh, contain 15 character including the null character it will can contain uh, a uh, name of authors of uh, maximum 20 character length and it will contain uh, book name of maximum 30 characters length these are string declaration statement let us declare a string to store name of a person here i am declaring a string of size 15 where name is the uh, string name 15 is the size of the character array where we can store maximum of 15 characters including the null character 
In this diagram, a name of a person, Riku, R I K U, is stored in the string. There are only four characters, but uh, one more space is required to store the null character at the end. So the array should be minimum of size five. If the array size is four, then only three characters, that is up to R I K, Rik, and a null character will be stored in the declared array. In this diagram, a string elements is identified with the help of the index or subscript value. The starting index value in the string is 0. The first address is known as the base address. Here in this example, base address is 100. Next consecutive memory addresses are 101, 102, 103 and 104. In this example, the first element of the string is stored in the memory and address 100. For most C compilers, character variable requires one byte of storage. Since strings are stored in contiguous memory location, so the second element will be stored next to the first element in location 101 and so on. Now I am coming to how to initialize a string. We can initialize the elements of the string at the same time when we declare the string. Initialization is generally done when we already know the character values of the string. Just like declaration, in initialization also we give the data type of the string followed by the name and the size of the string. But in addition to this, we also provide the values of the character values of the character elements of the string within the second bracket separated by commas. Uh, let us write one example where the string is initialized at the time of declaration. Initialization of string at the time of declaration. Character Suppose the string name is STI, size is 6, this semicolon is required at the end and this is the null character. Uh, although the name is, uh, this letter is hello is uh, of length 5, there are 5 characters but one more character is required for storing the null character. So the uh, size is 6 here, this is the size and this is the name of the string. This is this statement is uh, initialization at the time of declaration. We can also uh, write uh, the initialization statement with, without mentioning the size, that is without specifying the size. In this uh, initialization statement, we ha I have not mentioned the size here and I have sp uh, specified individual characters within this single code. This statement can also be written as this is also an initialization at the time of declaration. Here also I have not mentioned the size. Here I have used the double quotes instead of single quote because I have at a time I have written the uh, whole word. I can write the whole word or text within this uh, second bracket but for uh, in such cases I have to use this double quote instead of this single quote. These are some initialization statements. There is another such simpler way to initialize the string. We can also give the values of the character elements together in double quotes instead of providing them individually. For example, we can write character str third bracket equal to within double quote hello then one semicolon in this case the compiler assumes the string size to be equal to the number of character values provided inside the braces plus one more for the null character now i am coming to how uh, elements can be entered in a string we can insert values into a string at the time of initialization. But apart from that, we can also insert values into the 
string by accessing them individually. For example, if we have a string uh, name of six elements, we can insert the values for each of the six string positions as follows. Let us now suppose that we have a string of 50 characters which will contain name of a book. A solution to this problem is to use loop control structure statements like while, do while and for loop. Let us look at a code where with the help of the loop we can easily enter any number of the character values. Here a for loop is written. In this for loop i is initialized to 0, then i less than 50, then i plus plus and within the second bracket one uh, input statement is written scanf uh, percent c comma m percent name of i. This for loop is written for entering uh, values character by character into the string. The string name is name. M percent name of i gives the address of the ith element of the string where the current character data values need to be stored. An easier solution to this is that instead of providing the data values individually, we can provide them together as a string. For this purpose, we have to use person s instead of person c. Let us look at the statement. Here in this statement, the scanf statement accepts a string instead of a single character and stores it in the address of the given string location. Now how can we access values from a string? Once the values have been inserted, we may need to access the string for various purposes. The procedure for accessing the values of a string is similar to entering the values. This can be implemented in two ways. In the first way, we access the values for string individually as follows. In the code, a for loop is used to traverse from the first element of the string to the last element. The printf statement displays the character value which is stored in the address of the given string location. The array location is moved from the first element position to the last element position using the loop. In the second way, we can access the values of the string together. This can be written as printf person s comma name. Let us now discuss a complete C program for entering and accessing elements in the string. Here a complete C program is written. Uh, in the first uh, two line, two header files are included. Uh, first header file is written for inputting the standard input and output statement in the second header file and that is conio.h is used for clear screen and git chase function. Within the main function, two character array that is string, strings are declared string 1 and string 2 which is of size 10. Then one integer variable is declared after that clear screen function is declared. Then Entering characters individually using loop is shown. One printf statement is written uh, for entering the first string elements in the uh, string string 1. A for loop is used. The for loop is from 0 to 9. And one scanf statement inside the for loop is written. And inside the scanf statement, uh, one by one characters are entered into the string 1. So it is written percentage %c inside the scanf statement. In the printf statement, next printf statement, enter the second string into the string 2. Then one scanf statement is written. After entering two string, then um, the program will display the entered string. Two printf statement is written for displaying the 
uh, first string and the second string and output of this program is shown here enter the first string in string 1 suppose I have entered, entered the uh, string Gohati and in the second string I have entered the uh, string that is word Assam after entering the uh, first and second string the both the strings are displayed using two printf statement that is the first string is Gohati and the second string is Assam this is a simple example for entering and displaying uh, elements into a string uh, using person C and person S in the scanf statement. In the next part, I will mainly discuss various string handling function. Uh, I will also discuss some programs where uh, string manipulation is accomplished with, the, with or without using string library function. In my next class, I will mainly discuss various string handling functions. I will also discuss some programs where string manipulation is accomplished with or without using string library functions. Thank you.